fuel injected. Dang it, Bobby. We got fuel injected chainsaws, we got fuel injected lawnmowers. I'll show y'all here. So what's going on with y'all this morning? It's it's rained. I guess it started probably uh, about 12 30, 1 o'clock this morning. How do I know that? Because I was still up at 12 30, 1 o'clock this morning, <laughs> working on a getting the day today's video ready, which well is actually probably a day or two ago when I was doing it. Today's Thursday, the day before saw class i'm headed over here to northport power equipment i'm gonna pick up a brand new 562 husk boner chainsaw uh, one of the guys is from uh, way over in south mississippi it's coming up and he bought a saw from them over the phone so i'm gonna go grab it for him and get it back here so it'll be here when he gets here tomorrow night i did just about every saw class i have somebody that i go over here and pick a saw up for or a couple of saws up for and bring it back i love doing that i like uh i like seeing their expression when they walk in and that saw sitting there on the floor i got it sitting on the table for them with all their stuff on it and around it i, I like it. i like to see them smile you know so y'all gonna get to see a video from Northport power equipment today we're gonna bust over and infiltrate that and we're gonna see what they got on the shelf and talk to Brent and Keith that they're both there. I texted Brent while I go, told him I was on the way and I'm going to be there when they open or if not before they open and they heard nothing back from Brent. Brent may be still sleeping like a baby right now. So we'll see. I'm coming into Reform Alabama. One of the speed trap capitals of the world. Let me slow her down. So this is kind of the edge of Northport. Well, you can't see it over there now. I done passed it, but there ain't no telling how much rain we've got through the night. Cause the ditches are full. I mean, there you could about float a boat down through them. Northport Power Equipment's right up here, probably about a mile in front of me. So I'm getting really close to being here, and we'll we'll check out some chainsaws, man stuff. And woman stuff, because, I mean, there's a lot of women that run chainsaws now. A lot of women that are in the uh, Arborsfield tree care business and work for them and have their own businesses, too. And uh, so we'll check them out. Y'all see that billboard up there about a quarter of a mile? That billboard is in Northport Power Equipment's uh, parking lot. We're just about there. Oh, just kind of fill you in. Bryant did text me back about seven or eight minutes ago. So he is up and he is alive. I see Keith's truck here. They're open. There's Bryant's truck. Yeah, Bryant's here. All right, he's here. Uh-oh, there's a CMTM Deluxe bed on that Chevrolet right there. I like those beds. Pretty nice. Okay. We're here. So you don't come to Tuscaloosa Northport without seeing lots of University of Alabama stuff. This is where the home of it is. There we go. Got all these skag mowers here. I'll just look around and see what they got. These things are freaking beast, man. Fuel injected. Dang it, Bobby. We got fuel injected chainsaws. We got fuel injected lawnmowers. Uh -uh. I'm telling you. Taking pictures of it. That's right. <laughs> How you doing this morning? Oh, right. I'm doing good. Yeah. What's up, 
Hey man. I've been wide open, ain't you? Yeah. Was it, was it too wet to work this morning? Yeah, a little too wet this morning. Oh. Let's see, I, I hadn't talked to you since, I hadn't talked to y'all since you did the, uh, oh. Uh, got to spend a day over there with Tim. You had told me the last time I talked to you, That's right. you had it lined up. I saw the video where you left out that morning headed over there and, well, that might have been for the training, actually. Was yeah. That for, yeah, that was for the training, for the for getting ready for it. Yeah, the, when we went over there. What uh, do y'all have a demo unit of one of yeah. these right here, D? I want to uh, this spring or sometime. I want to get it and do some filming with it. You know, bring it to the house and do some filming. You can. And uh, it's a boy dog. I'm telling you, anybody that you know, it's expensive more, but. What is what is this mower right here run? Because this 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 is the biggest one y'all got, right? It is thirteen nine 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 fourteen five. Okay, all right. Of course, they got zero for forty eight. They got a lot of stuff on it, but. Can you get them with a? Uh, do they have an hydraulic option on the deck for them, where you can put hydraulic? They don't. They don't. They never have. They do get have a, an engine. Brian just told me they sold 60 backpack blowers since December. You think that might be because of me, Brian, or what? It's definitely him. <laughs> <laughs> I was janking on you coming over here. When I texted you this morning, I didn't hear anything back from you. I said, he's probably still laying in bed, sleeping. And then you, you came through for me, yeah. though, man. I'm going to be here. I'm oh, yeah. Here. Got plenty of trimmers. You know, used to, so, used to, and I still call them a weed eater. Mm-hmm. Most of but, them. But it's, uh... uh the, David, the, the, Breed, David Breed can get on to you for that. I know, man. Hey, I'm, I'm talking about, I get reamed by folks about calling them weed eaters. They call them string trimmers. Right. Look, he's got them. He got, he got plenty of echoes over here. And look at all the hush that's, of honors he's got. That's just the backlog back there. Yeah. Right. We get them ready to put on the shelf once the others get. And I got two pallets in the warehouse of trimmers. <laughs> Those are hot items. They will be, no doubt. All right, we got to get over here and look at the saw. Huh? You got plenty of saws in stock right now, or how's that going? We got plenty of saws. Oh, we got I plenty of pole saws. all the models in. I know, I know Johnny, uh, Johnny Gilmer said he, I talked to him the other night, he said he came over here and bought a Husqvarna, uh, he's from over in Caledonia over there, bought a pole saw yeah. from y'all. Sold one yesterday to a Did guy. you? Sold our last 460 yesterday, but I got some coming. Got 455s in last week. I think I got 20 of those in. 455 ranchers. It kills it's me. Not a pro saw, but it's a good selling saw. No, I mean, the ran I never had really run a rancher very much till uh, uh, Josh came over here and bought that one from y'all. And brought it to the house, and and I helped him with it. And I'm gonna tell you, the rancher is no joke. That is a, that is a no joke saw. So after I ran his, then I had a guy that I do a lot of work for. Uh, he bought the 60 cc rancher. Is it the 455 or which one is it's it? It's a 460. Right? 460. Okay, it's a 460. All right. Well, he. He didn't know anything about a saw, but he called me. He said, can you come help me out? I went over there, and they throw the chain off, jacked the chain up really bad, and the chain brake was locked. When I got over there to it, the the side cover <laughs> wouldn't go on. The chain brake was locked. So I happened to have my tool with me when I took it with me because I was kind of – There we go. That's it. I got a 24-inch bar on it. And, uh, he sold it yesterday. So I fixed it up. We just scrapped that chain. That chain was was toast. He had went ahead and bought a new chain and threw it on there. And I cranked it up, fired it up, and and that that 460. And if you want a gas, because what does this saw sell for? What does it cost? I have to look on that tag. It's on that tag right at the top. Yeah. Okay. 
I can't see right. my glasses. Here it is right here, 539 now. 539, okay. All right, 539. So for 60cc saw, and any of the ranchers right there because they run i was very impressed the way that they run it's a good saw it's a saw that it's yeah, that's a saw right that sells itself you know people come in and say my daddy had a 55 rancher you know i'm looking for the rancher do you got the rancher in stock i mean it's sold when they walk in right. okay so i get this question a lot and i'm gonna explain on all husband stuff they they are an XP series. They offer a non XP variant of that same saw. So you got the 550 XP Mark II that y'all see me with all the time. They got a 545 Mark II. It's, that's the non XP variant right there. There's no, the, those saws are identical. They're the same CC, everything. The only difference is, is this saw is ported a little bit different. It turns a few less RPMs and it's got a little bit less horsepower and you can save a few bucks by going that route right there. So 550, 545, both of them 50 cc saws, both run 20, 20 inch bars, max 325 chain. All right, and then you step up from there, you've got the 562 XP. The non XP variant of it is a 555 same deal same chain same cc's port a little bit different turns a few less rpms tad less horsepower then you step up to the 572 xp the non xp variant of it is a 565 same deal same saw same cc's port a little different turn a little less rpms a little less horsepower save a few bucks going with the 565 and there you go. All right, so the the new 90cc saw that Husqvarna is coming out with is going to be an XP. They're also going to have a non-XP variant of that saw too coming out. And uh, so that's the thing. And then you, the XP is all the, quote, pro saws meant to be run all day, every day. And then you got the Rancher series. And then, of course, you got the the battery series if you want to if you don't want to fill with gas or anything like that all right Bryant. so we got an event coming up here in just a matter of about a month about i guess month. right uh was it Mar march 18th and, and 19th. 19th that's right y'all we call it spring open house spring kickoff open house um, we can sort of sort of make the second day a pro day mm -hmm. for landscapers it's not as crowded uh, you can kind of talk with the you know, manufacturer representatives a little easier, and uh, so there'll be a husky dude here right. that you can talk to. Uh, that's going to be a Friday and a Saturday. No, it's going to be a Thursday and Friday. a Friday is what it's going to be. And so they got this little old uh, chainsaw carving dude that uh, <laughs> I've met a time or two. His name's Chad Gaining. He he can run a saw pretty good. He's going to be over here hacking stuff out, carving stuff on that Thursday and Friday both, and then that Friday. I'm going to come over here and whatever Chad carves out, I'm going to cut it up like <laughs> firewood pieces is what I'm going to do. And so uh, me and Chad both will be here that Friday. Y'all got any kind of specials going to be going on yep. or anything like it? We'll have the 10% uh, off uh, anything $2.99 and down. Mm -hmm. And then 20% off $2.99 and up on handheld. And then we'll have 10% off on riding mowers and uh uh, homeowner zero turns, mm -hmm. the Z200s have 10% off. And then all the 20% fleet deals will be on the commercial stuff. It's in play now. It's mm -hmm. really year round. Yep. And, uh, but we'll have our handheld sale, 299 downs, 10% off, 299 and ups, 20% off. So in just regular old, good old country boy terms, if you want a 572 or a 372 chainsaw, you can buy it over here normally it's 9.99 right. you'll be able to buy it for 7.99 right. plus tax on top of that and uh and then so you get that and get you some pre-mix some some bar and chain oil and that's still going to fall in that 20 percent off all the stuff that you add on they got plenty of ppe stuff here uh gloves hard hats ear protection uh chaps got plenty of chains hanging over there to keep them made up uh one of the big things that i'm a huge fan of now 
is of course the pre-mix and y'all got plenty of that in here too y'all keep it in the in the quarts uh, gallons and the it's not five gallons but i'll call it five gallons like 4.78 or yeah. something like that and uh so they got five gallon can it's a five gallon can but they don't put quite five <laughs> gallons in it and like that you can get it in a 55 gallon can but they don't quite put 55 gallons in it and i ain't figured that one out yet but that's so, a little tougher to handle i tried that but it hurt my back you know that's right that. that's right <laughs> keith and will i have to give you the story on that yeah, run it I don't, we didn't really tell, Richard Hunter's on Santa, but <laughs> I tell you, oh, well, y'all, y'all, somebody, somebody was bored one day yeah, up here, exactly wasn't they? What it was. Here's the, <laughs> the crank rod right there. <laughs> Got stuck. <laughs> oh, goodness. Somebody got a hole with some spray paint, some red, white, and blue spray paint, and got her doctored up right there. That's actually pretty slick, man. Pretty slick. We put, you know, we put about uh, two coats of primer on there, and, uh, you know, it turned out pretty good. That plastic's kind of harder to paint than you think. Well, the best thing to do on that plastic is dye it. Have you seen anybody that I, does the dye? I haven't seen they anybody. They take the, the, the writ dye, like you dye clothes with, and you get it in hot water like in a in a uh, big right. tub or anything and then you just dunk that plastic in it'll die the heck out of it wow. there's a lot of people and it won't you know like the paint right there it'll scratch off yeah. but that dye is in the plastic right. then it's right. done there's right. a lot of people that, that do that now i don't really know how much we're going to run that saw of course we're going to it well you're not going to run it none right now because it don't even have a jug on it we've actually ordered a big bore kit uh -oh. in it. Uh, one of them uh, uh so it'll be a, like an xpw then yeah it's an italian made kit uh-oh um, it's uh i think it took it down to 50 millimeter Okay. So there's about 53 or two. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And it's got the dome, a piston. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we, we're going to extreme just to have a conversation piece, but we're going <laughs> to use it some, of course. That'll work, man. But, uh, That'll work. We just have some time on our hands. That's right. <laughs> so Y'all see, they got plenty of gloves. Well, that's Those really doors cool. back there got chains in them, tons of chains in them, and they got tons of bars right here. Also, X Force. Years before he went there, so he knows where it's at. And technically, what we would do see. is like you pull them down. We see all the chains they got in there. File in the two big picks here, and go ahead and write them down there. What's that? What's the address up here, man? Let's see, thirty-three ninety-five, uh, McFarland Boulevard, Northport, Northport, Alabama. All right, well, it's the phone number. You remember it? Phone number is going to be 205-333-0037. There we go. So y'all just holler at them. If you need something, they're right here on the side of the, um, on the highway. I mean, they got a giant billboard that's sitting in the parking lot. And you see the billboard, you just bust off right in there and you'll you'll be here. Very easy to find, easy to get to. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, appreciate y'all letting me infiltrate over here today and do a little filming here and doing that. So this is the saw that I'm picking up over here today. It's a brand new 562 XP, got a 20 inch bar on it, X cut chain. They went ahead and got the the felon dogs put on it so y'all get to see this one uh running in the videos this weekend at the at the chainsaw class there so i'm excited to to uh for him to pick it up come in the shop there when he sees it. it's always cool when the people walk in and their face lights up when they see their new saw but at the 